Okay, so there's a lot of ways on the graphing calculator to enter in roots and exponents. The goal of this video is just to introduce some of those. So for example, if you want to enter in 5 to the second power, what you can do is just press 5, and then you notice this button over here says x squared. So if you press that, you're squaring whatever value you've already entered. I already entered in 5, so I'm, by pressing this button, I'm saying 5 squared and then by pressing enter, you get the answer, right? Um, of course, you could repeat this process. If I want to square 2, and then square that, and then square that result, and so forth, I can just keep pressing this button to square a square of a square, and so forth. Another way of doing this, one that I think is effective, if I want to do 5 squared, I can press 5, and then notice this button right here, right? This little caret means exponent. So by pressing that button you can enter in anything as an exponent. So I can enter in 2, just like I did before, and I'll get 5 squared. Or I can enter in other powers, and that's that's where this thing is really convenient. Let's say I want to enter 5 to the 6th power, I just press 5, and then this caret button, and then a 6. By pressing enter, the calculator will then compute the result. And this is nice as well because you can also enter in roots in this way. For example, if I press 5 to the second power, what does that give me? Of course, 25. If I want to find the root of 25, how do I do that? Well, one way of doing it is I could press second, and then notice the x squared button. The little symbol above it in blue is the square root. They often graph, uh, they often group, excuse me, um, inverse operations. So here we have the square button, and above it, the square root. So by pressing second and then pressing this button, we get the inverse operation of x squared, which is square root. So you can press second, x squared, and then 25, and it gives you the t square root of 25. But going back to that caret button, you could just press 25, and then raise it, right, by pressing the caret button, to the 1 half, 1 divided by 2, power. That means, right, the square root of 25, which is 5. You could also enter in 25, to the 0.5 power, and you get the same result on the calculator. Now there are some other things you can do as well, and you can look at different roots. Um, let's say I want to find the fifth root of 3,125. So I press, first press 5, then math. Here you'll see the commands. If you notice, the third command is the cubed power. The fourth command is the third root, if you can read that. And the fifth command is the x root. So the number you first enter is x in the x root. I entered in 5. Now I sc if I scroll down to the fifth function here, oops, go up 1, and press enter, notice how it writes this, where 5 is this little number. That's the fifth root of whatever number you're entering. So if you enter 3,125, you're finding the fifth root of 3,125. You could also, of course, press 3, 1, 2, 5, to the 1 divided by 5 power, or you could press 3, 1, 2, 5 in decimal form to the 0.2 power. Give you the same result. So there are lots of options here, and again, going back to the, the math, uh, math menu here, we have cubed, cube root, and x root. Really convenient. I'll just walk through those real quick. If I want to do 5 to the third power, there are some ways you can do that, right? You can press the carrot button and a 3. Right. Another way is to press 5, then press math, and then go to the third option here, which is the cubed root, and it does the same thing. Another thing on the math menu, if you want to find the cubed root, press the fourth option. Let's say I want to find the cubed root of 8. Well, I select that, and it computes it. And you can keep going with this, and there are extensions into scientific notation, um, and there are extensions into logarithms, right? But we can also press second ln. Oops. Clear that. If I press second and ln, I get e raised to a power. So that might be convenient for you if you want to raise e to the third power. And also, I guess we'll just briefly mention oh, one other button, sorry. Second log gives you 10 to a power. So 10 to the second power. You can enter in powers of 10 really quickly by pressing second and then the log button. And you could also enter in scientific notation. If you want to enter in, let's say, 2.5 times 10 
to the third power, you could type in 2.5 times 10, right, to the third power with the carrot button. You could enter in 2.5 times, and you press second log, get 10 to a power, get the same result. Or you can press 2.5, this is the scientific notation shortcut, EE, -E, press second, and this comma button right here, you notice the little EE -E function. That E, when you see it on the screen written like that, that means times 10 to the blank power. So now what you're entering is the power. So if I enter in 3, this now means 2.5 times 10 to the third power, right? And that gives you the same results. These mean the same things, and that E button is a shortcut for scientific notation. All right, hope this helped.